One of the great things about DistroKid is that they are always expanding the number of stores that they deliver your music to. But what if you've released a song in the past and you want to make sure that it's available in every possible store? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete, and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And we're talking about releasing here because I'm a big fan of DistroKid. I've been using them for a few years now. They're a great way to get your music onto Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, and all of the rest of the streaming platforms. And speaking of all those streaming platforms, what can we do to make sure that our music is available on as many platforms as possible? Now, as I mentioned, DistroKid are always expanding and updating which platforms they support. So... What we're going to do now is jump into my DistroKid account and I'm going to check some older songs and see if we can increase the number of stores these are released to. Here we are in my DistroKid account and here are all of the singles, albums, EPs that I've released over time. And what you'll notice is that some of these have less stores that they've been released to than others. So the more recent singles here, you can see that we've got Napster, we've got KK Box, we've got, uh, what's this one, Angami. There's a bunch of new stores that the older tracks haven't been released to. Now, one I've already done here, you can see Anxiety, I've updated. This is an older track, but it has all of these added in here. So what I'm going to do now is actually jump into some of my old tracks. So let's choose Drinking With You because this is my oldest track that is in the fewest number of stores and we're going to change that. We're going to resubmit this so it goes to those additional stores. Let's jump in and do that now. So I'm here in my My Music section of DistroKid and I'm just going to scroll down and click on Drinking With You. This is going to open up the details of this. So there's my album artwork up the top and all of the information that I have there. Now what I can do here, I can remove it from all stores I don't want to do that. I can adjust my team. I can adjust a bunch of other things. But here is the thing that we want to focus on. This is stores. So you can see here that here are all the stores listed across here. And what I can do is I can click on this one, which is add to more stores. So let's click the add to more stores button now. And here you go. We've got down the side here, you can see we've got Angami. We've got Instagram or Facebook. We've got iHeartRadio, KKBox, Napster, and Shazam. Now Shazam is 99 cents per year. So that is the only one that costs an additional amount to actually release to. So if you do want to uh, upload or release to Shazam, you can do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click through all of these free ones and I'm going to tap on add. And there we go. That has submitted those. So it says this album is being added to selected stores. And what's going to happen from here is that once they have actually been added in, then we're going to get an email back from DistroKid saying these have now been added to these additional stores. So it's as simple as that. If we want to do another one, in fact, let's do that now. So I'm going to go back to my music and let's go and grab a different song. So we've just done that one. Look, there you go. You can see it's been submitted to those stores already. It's it's showing up in additional stores. If we click on your opinion now, let's grab this one and we're gonna scroll down do the same thing, click add to more stores. And here you'll see that we don't have all of the same ones. So it's already added to some of these other ones. So let's click all of those and let's click on add. And there you go. They've been submitted to those additional stores. Now, the question you may have is, why would you want to do this? Well, because you might as well be there. So if someone's searching for your music or if someone's browsing through, and if, you're, if you've are if you got your music streaming on more platforms, it can only be a better thing. Now, the only exception might be maybe you don't want it on the Facebook, Instagram thing. You don't want people finding you there. You don't want it on YouTube or Google. Like You can actually select which you do and don't want them released to. But in my view, personally, I would like my music to be available in as many places as possible. And there you go. So if, like me, you have a bunch of songs released using DistroKid, then this is a good way to make sure that they are available on as many platforms as possible. Don't forget to check the links down below for more videos all about DistroKid, and I'll see you on the next video.